Our alphabet is Latin. Our numeral system is Arabic. Our philosophy is Greek. We watch Western movies, listen to Western songs, and play Western games with Eastern technology in Eastern machines. We live in a world that was once just one continent and one ocean. A world that will likely become just one continent and one ocean again. A world discovered by Portuguese and Spanish sailors. A universe explained by Italian astronomers and American and Russian astronauts. A world where the same man is at the root of three major religions. A world where 12 million men spread throughout the globe directly descend from the same ancestor. In this world where frontiers seem so important, the English royal house is German, the Spanish royal house is Austro-Hungarian, the Swedish royal house is French, and Greece, which doesn't have a royal house, had a queen married to the King of Spain and has a prince married to the Queen of England. Oh, and you know who also married a Greek immigrant? Monsieur Jean-Marie Le Pen. The Swedish national hero is the son of a Croatian Catholic mother and a Bosnian Muslim father. The former and possibly future president of France is the son of a Hungarian aristocrat and the grandson of a Greek Jew. And he's married to an Italian immigrant. As for the man who wants to kick immigrants out of America, he's the son of a Scottish immigrant woman who married the son from a family of German immigrants. He himself is married to a Slovenian wife and divorced from a Czech. We live in a world that knows at least two things about the United States. That, for eight years, they were represented by the son of a Kenyan man and an American woman who met in a Russian class in Hawaii. And that never, ever has Donald Trump stumbled upon a true American, or he wouldn't have kept that scalp. There are more Poles living outside of Poland than Syrians in Syria. During 90% of its history, Turkey wasn't inhabited by Turks. Hungary is not the land of Hungarians. It's the country the Hungarians invented when they ran away from the Ural mountain cold. And when you look at the flags of all Northern Europe countries, remember, they represent a cross. The cross carried 2,000 years ago by a poor Middle Eastern man condemned to die. We live in a blended world. Estoril Conferences 2017. Global Challenges, Local Answers.